So this is where we will learn theoretically. Okay, we have to learn this theoretically. We have to learn the descriptions. And when there is an interview question, okay, they will ask you theory only. Okay, what is regression testing? Have you done UAT? UAT? Have you done what is the difference between this testing that testing? What is smoke testing? So you have to learn the testing terms first. You have to imagine that this is how the testing is. Okay, this if I do this, then this is called as smoke testing. If I do this, this is called as UAT test. So this is why we will learn theory and then we will implement the same thing in workday when we are performing transactions. Okay, so what is manual testing? Manual testing is a type of software testing where testers manually execute test cases without using any automation tool. Manual testing is the most primitive, primitive of all testing types and helps find bug in the software system. Okay. So what is manual testing? Manual testing means somebody like a human, okay, like us, we will sit on the system, we will log in into Workday, we will do something manually, we will log in and check. Okay, if basically logging into Workday itself is a testing. That is one one test case, okay, whether I'm able to log in into Workday or not with the username and password. That is one test case. So when I try to do it manually by myself without having with by using laptop and mouse and my fingers and my brain that is called manual testing okay i am not using any other tool there are so many other automation tools which are available if you just type the code and if you run the script automatically it will log in you don't have to do anything you just have to run the script leave the system mouse idle and you can go out okay and come back after 2 hours the script will be running the test cases will be executing that is automation okay but when we talk about manual, we will do it ourselves by manually. Okay? So new, any new applications must be manually tested before it's testing automation. Very true. You cannot workday, okay, if you join a company uh, which is implementing workday newly, the company will always expect you to do manual testing. It will not directly start writing scripts and do automation testing. No, they will need you for sure they will ask you to do manual testing okay after that the automation team will come they will write the testing they will see you first they will ask you okay how did you do this what are the steps you followed how did how did you navigate to this page when you tell them this they will write the code and they will run the script that's when automation will come in manual testing requires more efforts but is necessary to check automation feasibility very true manual testing requires more effort exactly since we humans are doing this okay, so manually we have to put lots of effort and it's a time consuming process you cannot expect in a minute or two minutes or three minutes or five minutes for one test case to get over it will take minutes 15 20 30 few cases will take 45 minutes one case okay but whereas automation you don't have to do anything you just have to write the code once the code is written that's where your effort will be there you just have to press enter and that's all the script will be will run automatically will do everything if there is any error it will stop okay it will stop and that's where you can know okay there is an error there manual testing does not require knowledge of any testing tool very true we you and me as a manual testers as a functional testers we don't need to learn automation we don't need to learn java scripts selenium protractor maven okay we just need to learn workday as how the functionality, how the transactions are done in Workday. One of the software testing fundamentals is 100% automation is not possible. Very true. You cannot automate everything in Workday. There is no chance you cannot do 100% automation. For sure, manual testing is required. How to perform manual testing? Read and understand the software project documents and guide. Also study the AUT if available. Okay, so as I told you, every company has their own process, has their own business process, has their own ways, has their own policies. Okay, so if I am joining a company called A, how would I know what are they following in Workday? See, Workday is common in all the companies, very true. Okay, navigation is common, options are common, fields are options, but the steps, the policies, 
you will have it will change company to company that you can learn only by the documents which they give you when you join a company for sure they will give you a guide they will give you a configuration workbook remember this word configuration workbook this is common across all the clients all the companies which use workday they give you a configuration workbook which has all the information related to how the workday was configured in that company okay so with that guide with that document with that configuration workbook you will know what is implemented what is added in workday in this particular company draft test cases that cover all the requirements in the document they will also give you basic draft test cases okay uh, the company who implements okay you and me will not do implementation we will do only testing okay so the, there's a separate company like accenture deloitte okay kpmg so these guys do implementation so when they do implementation in order to check if they have done the right job they will do a testing so that testing is called as implementation testing uh, that's a qa side okay quality side once the quality side is over those basic test cases will be given to the client those test cases as a sample test cases will be given to you you and me when we join a company to understand that this is how they follow the company is following these types of uh, steps review and baseline the test cases with team leads and client as applicable so once we write a test case okay, we are talking about test cases right i will show you how to write how it looks and all that okay for now just understand executing a test case uh, we have to we cannot just write the test case and just jump into it and do everything ourselves we have to first show it to the client okay the client will have to sign off we'll have to give a sign off saying okay this is good this is what i want once they give a sign off only then the test cases will be implemented and you can do this testing actual testing okay till then whatever you are doing is only trial and error basis okay to learn the system that's what you're doing execute the test case on the uad okay again the execution once the client is giving the sign off you will start doing the work okay so when you start doing the work there will be many challenges okay system might not work there is something which is not running there is some kind of error which you are getting it is not performing as per the document which you received remember configuration workbook the test case which you wrote the steps which you wrote when you are doing the steps it is not performing as per the configuration workbook as per the document you received so that's called as error bug once the bug so at that point of time once the bugs are fixed again execute the failing test case to verify they are passed okay. so once you try to execute and you found a bug once you found an error so will you just leave it and go no you'll try to fix the error okay. how you fix it what is the approach different depends upon different different companies okay that we will discuss below how to approach an error what are the different tools where we log in errors and all that so what happens is just for your understanding once there is an error and the error is resolved you have come out of the error it is all good now you have to retest the same test case again so that you pass the test case okay so this is basically manual testing do you have any questions for me Okay, so Rajini, do you have any questions for me? No. Okay, organizations. Okay, we will learn how to group the organizations. We will learn what are the different organization types, and then we will learn about how do we use and where do we use these organizations, and then we will see a demo as well. Okay, in workday, and we will have a little bit of discussion on 
this theory of work well, theory of uh, manual testing okay we'll have a little bit of discussion on this as well okay then rashmi and mohan thank you for your time Thank <music> you.